He's been looking at the sky since he's two. I think it made me aware that art is not just what we see at museums. It's more the daily things that I see now. And it wasn't before, I guess, but now it is. It's funny what people think and how they look and how they react to what he does. Here, another wheel. Here, another one, and wheels. Yeah, circles started, wow, well, when he was little, and that was scary. We were living in another country. We didn't have the family with us to tell us something is not right. We didn't know we were pregnant. And, uh, and I guess I got German missiles. We never knew exactly because it was at the beginning of the pregnancy. My belly never grew a lot. He was tiny. He wasn't looking at us like a normal baby. He wasn't crying for us to be with him. And that's why we started all the tests. We find out that he was deaf. They told us at the time that when you have all this type of virus, as a little tiny baby, it could mess up with your brain. So maybe the autism is part of that. It was fascinating for me, coming from another culture, that here parents have a power that is amazing and some parents don't know and don't use it. I love it. You could change things. We did it a lot. What do we do after graduation? You know, the, the, the vocational rehabilitation, the, the possibilities of this. The theory was amazing, fantastic, wonderful. You're going to get a job, life is going to be good, blah, blah, blah. blah. No, it's not that easy. So we started with vocational rehabilitation when he was a senior looking for a job. We did everything we could, but again, the economy at the time wasn't good companies were not hiring. We were here in the backyard talking that we couldn't find a job, what are we going to do with Nicolas? And he said, well, we know this great guy. So we went and met him and he said, come Monday. We couldn't believe that he said that. And I look at him and I said, how in the world is this going to work? So it was the summer of 2004 that we met Paul. So he started working with him immediately at Stone Belt, and then at the Kids Commons, and then at the Commons, and then whatever project Paul had, Nicolas was part of it. Paul told me one day, well, he's an artist, and I go, what, an artist? For me, doing the wheels and all that was a normal thing, you know, like, that's what kids do when they have a talent. Then I go to these fears that I had gone with him, that's interesting to me to see all these talents and that he's one of them too. Is he checking? Yeah. <laughs> She's still here. Yeah. I have no idea how he does it. But then we started remembering that when we lived in Brazil, he would sit at night on, on the balcony of the apartment and look at the sky. And probably he was memorizing from the books and then looking at it. But that's the 
photography memory and the fascinating memory that district people have. I don't know how to explain this. It's always something with him. Always. Every day we're outside. There is always something. I have to find ways to be smarter or faster than he is. I mean, he could do so many things that we had no idea. It was then that he began to share his love for art with other children and adults with special needs. Mm -hmm. and you just learn. He's just a blessing. We learn so much with him because it's always an adventure.